Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And yes, by the by the title, the Big Base Bus is coming back. Uh, I have been thinking about this one for a little while. I've actually got everything all set up, ready to go. Uh, it just happens to be one of the most iconic, well, I, I won't say iconic, but most popular projects on my channel. Actually, one of the most popular videos on my channel. Uh, sadly, it didn't work out as well as I had hoped. I'm going to show a bit of a clip here. Uh, what it was is just basically an articulated vehicle that was going to be, you know, a mo mobile base. It would have, I think I had the front end I had the generator and where I was driving the second, the middle section was where the printers were and then uh, and the back end is where the storage and the main power was going to be. And it was going to be like a mobile base of operations, had the conveyors on the walls and all this stuff to attach miners and whatnot. And uh, took it on a bit of a road trip and needless to say things didn't work out too well. Uh, yeah, I had a few mishaps with some salamanders along the way and resulted in my base being the three satellites up in orbit somewhere. Uh, I did actually manage to respawn that sp stasis chamber one time and uh, yeah, I was all over the place. I didn't know where I was, but anyways, I'm going to bring back the big base bus today. Uh, it's, like I said, I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm not going to do the articulated design. That's just... Eh. It, I was having trouble with the, the driving mechanics and whatnot, but we're actually going to stop over at the refinery here. I filled up all the slots in the, the actual refineries themselves with, uh, what did I put in there? I think I put plating in there, and then that way all the deuterium is just going to go right into the generator. So let's see what we have. That was almost a bad idea. Uh, oops, let's get out of the water so I can actually see what I'm doing. And we have... Look at that, six stacks. We're actually going to take a stack of that because we're going to need it for the big base bus. Uh, I have done a little bit of work around here, uh, cleaning up. Let me get out of here so I can actually get back inside. Uh, get rid of some trees and collecting biomass because we're out of biomass. And uh, I'm going to have to do a mine run again. We're completely out of aluminum, completely out of cobalt. I have the very last of the Mark II composites on me that I can make. And it's only about 500, which doesn't really account for much for me but anyways you can see i got a huge area here set up for this thing uh, it's actually gonna be a pretty big thing i'm gonna I'm gonna go heavy duty it's gonna have a, a little idea i've been thinking about but uh it's definitely gonna be a lot better since we got the color now and yeah so i'm gonna do some building and then i'll bring you back once all time to wire everything up and i'll give you a tour
Okay, I have done it again. And those of the watch a series for a while know exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, I'm back down to my basics. I have a new death marker, almost half a kilometer that way. Don't ask me how. But that's going to move. This was supposed to be... Watch it. This was supposed to be the newest edition. So basically... Got it done. That was going to be the last thing I was going to put on it was... A mining boom. Oh no, I broke the game. Oh no. Yes, it froze. It crashed. It's doing something. Are you done yet? Something about these... And I crashed. Well, I guess we're going to have to call this one here. In the old... Yeah, force crash. I'm going to get one more shot, but I think I'm going to end it here. Okay, I wasn't about to give up on this. So I decided to come back and see if I could deal with that arm. And needless to say, it was in a spot where I could actually disconnect it. So I just got rid of it. Uh, it was an idea for like a remote control sort of drone drilling rig. But needless to say, the physics don't want to cooperate. Hopefully the new Unity will fix things like that. Excuse me. Uh, but we'll find out soon, hopefully. Uh, they're also apparently working on like uh, questing and storyline uh, features. But so as you can see, I have it all wired up. I have the generator running, the powers going to the wheels. Uh, whether or not this can be enough to move, it's apparently 240 tons, but we're gonna find out. So first, we're gonna get rid of the bogies or free the bogies. Hopefully I don't die. Okay. Okay. No, they're not going to actually move because they're perfectly balanced. Uh, one thing I actually noticed. Yes, it was this one I forgot to change. Because I wasn't sure if the two, not, the two block gap was enough, so I changed it to three. So let me fix this and spread them out a little more. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, so there was an area in the back here that originally the the mine was going to dangle down the, into the back area here. At the same time, too, I have an area small enough to hopefully carry a flyer. If it does move around, at least we have railings to stop it from sliding off. So that being said, let's uh, see if this thing will actually move on the ground anyways, not fly through space. Okay, that one goes... All right, now for the moment of truth. Time for some jelly suspension. Still got that shimmy and that shake to it. The question is, does it have enough power? Now the reason why I put the wheels on, I don't know if you want to call them bogies or carriages or whatever, it, that's this is so, to make sure that as many wheels touch the ground as possible. I forgot to wire up the doors. Oh well. So I'll give you a quick little tour here. I was going to try to get a little more in here, but we don't have a whole lot in the game. But anyways, we have our storage system over there. We have the generator over there, which has a stack of deuterium in it at the moment. This was supposed to be the, the main connection point for the miner. It was going to be like a cherry picker bucket. Uh, sort of hinged over there, hinged there, hinged at the miner. Carried out by air blades, but as you can see, the physics ain't like that too much. But then we have two printers ready to go, we have a food and drink machine ready to go, we have a, a armory ready to go, and we have the refinery ready to go. We also have a lovely greenhouse and a scanner. And why can I not scan the area? Because I've scanned it already, that's why. Now the question is, will it move? I've noticed the uh, structure sliding doesn't seem to happen when you got something on suspension. Maybe we should start building our bases on suspensions. But here we go. I tried to get 24 wheels in the beginning, but that didn't work out too well. Oh, 
almost gonna move. I think I gotta set the torque is what it is. Yeah. So give me one moment. Alright, torque mode engaged. Now let's see if it actually does something. So I was actually trying to get 24 wheels on here because I knew it was gonna be a problem. But it moves. Extremely slow, but it moves. Probably could actually sneak some more wheels on here somewhere. Uh, maybe another pair in the back here, another pair in the back here. Because it's almost moving. Let's try that. Well, well, it seems I missed that one. This one over here is actually in one block further than the rest of the three. Ah, it still drives. Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to try with two wheels on for the moment because this might get a little cramped if I throw another pair in there. But this will at least give us a little bit more power. Going uphill is going to be a pain with this thing. Alright. Let's see if we can at least run some trees over. It's a shame I don't have those Godillas anywhere. It moves at a surprisingly slow speed. But when you're moving a base, you can't expect much. Let's see if we can knock this tree over. Piece of cake. I get stuck. Oh yes, definitely needs more power. Needs more wheels is what it is. And that's why I was trying to get 24 on here, but you know, they were so close to each other, I would have had to make this thing even wider than it already is. And I seem to be caught up on something. Oh wait, no, I'm trying to go up a hill. That's what it is. Well, let's, uh, let me see if we can get this thing out of here. I'll bring you back when, when I'm out. Okay, that didn't take too long. Does move. It's definitely big. Like I said, those power, those wheels definitely need more power. But, yeah, there we go. Uh, kind of wish that cherry picker miner was actually going to work, but it didn't. So with that, we're going to call it an episode. It was, oh God, I've been working on this thing pretty much most of the day, six, seven, eight hours, I don't know. Of course, I had issues, but there we go. The big base bus is back and slower than ever, but at least it's red, so it makes up for it. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.